What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Storytime with Silvia. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're enjoying this series, please hit like and share with someone you think can relate. And if this is your first time listening to one of my stories, make sure you go back and check out the ones I've posted in the past. Most of my stories are of my first generation Mexican American upbringing, time with my abuelos, personal experiences, and so much more. Enough of the chit chat. Let's get to the story. This story time is called Las Liches Casi Me Tragan. When traveling to Mexico, our final destination was always Pura Pero Michoacán. But as you might know by now, we made several pit stops along the way. Aside from my dad loving to see everything that caught his interest, he was just a friendly guy. Well, más bien le gustaba hablar. Especialmente politics. We knew that if he started talking to random people, the conversation would ultimately end in Mexican politics. We would all look at each other and say, Ah, ya andan su cardenismo. As you also might know, he hated el PRI and loved the party of the people, el PRD, whose running candidate at the time was Cuauhtémoc Cárdenas, who was actually from Michoacán. Mmm... Now I see the connection to why he loved to go to Michoacán. Could it be because it was the state of Lázaro Cárdenas? Or did he just want to convince the people of Michoacán to vote for him? One will never know. But one time, in one of his, let's just call it, unsober moments, while walking through the streets of Michoacán, I recall hearing him say, Cualquier individuo del pre que se me venga lo voy a... At the time, I was like, oh shoot, let's get him home. I was scared. You don't mess around with public officials of Michoacán. But now I just can't help but to laugh about it, knowing that I escaped that one. Okay, this story wasn't about my dad's cardenismo. I'll save that for another time. What I wanted to tell you was about this one time we made our usual stop in Tepic, Nayarit to visit my dad's side of the family. We always stayed in the city with his family who were social workers, but their extended family had a rancho with livestock in a nearby small town outside of Tepic, which they called El Jicote. I don't know if that was a real name or it was a name they just gave it de cariño. Okay, I just looked it up and turns out that town does truly exist. Everything in Nayarit had el or la in front of it. El Jicote, El Samuel, La Silvia. So who knows? I was loving everything about this trip. The roads in that little town were all dirt and I got to ride in the back of a truck. It rains often during the month of June there. And I enjoyed it coming down on us and smelling the wet dirt on those hot, humid days. I remember them letting me ride a horse all over those small dirt roads. It was amazing. After this beautiful experience, the family decided to take us to cool down at a nearby dam. I couldn't believe it. We were going to swim in a dam. We headed out and when I got off the truck, All of a sudden, a swarm of mosquitoes decided to make my skin their home. I ran to my mom and dad and they couldn't keep them off of me. Someone quickly made a fire and told me to stand by it so the smoke would keep them away. All of a sudden, I was hating life. I wanted to go back home where the mosquitoes didn't know my name. At some point, all the kids decided to go swim in the dam. So, of course, I followed. We sat on a little ledge where the water fell on us. I was happy again. I was nice and cool and mosquito free. Well, they kept trying to land on my head, but I tried to keep it wet. After a few hours, we were called out to eat. I wasn't happy about having to come out of the water and having to stand next to the smoke, but I really had no choice. I couldn't be that disrespectful, entitled niña del otro lado. Some of the kids started walking out of the water. I saw they were all flicking some leaves off of their arms. As I began to walk out, I slowly looked at my arm and noticed that these leaves looked a little 
slimy. I thought, man, how long have these leaves been in the water? Ew! The leaves then appeared to be slightly moving. I was like, dang, what the heck is going on? The heat must be getting to me. I tried flicking off one of those leaves and it wouldn't fall off. I then tried to grab it. Oh my goodness. My skin is literally crawling right now. I'm getting flashbacks. I don't even want to describe to you what that leech felt like. I just went straight to my mom and dad. I faintly remembered what happened after that. It's like a big blur. But what I do remember is my mom and dad trying to quickly remove all the leaves off my body. Guys, these weren't leaves. They were leeches and they were all over my body. My mom even pulled down my bathing suit bottoms to peel them off my little butt. Hey, Vern, there's something on your neck. Yeah, right, I'm not falling for that one, Lachance. No, Vern, there is something on your neck. It's a leech. Leeches! Oh my God! 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 Jesus Christ! The rest of that day, I was miserable. I was being attacked by huge mosquitoes and was recovering from my blood being sucked out by all the leeches. I was sweaty, sticky, smelling like smoke, and was so happy to finally head back to the city. I was able to take a nice shower in my Tio Felipe's house and have a restful night's sleep in mi prima La Güera's room, knowing no bugs were going to attack me. After that day, we never went back to El Jicote. Till this day, I think about those leeches often. I can't believe I was almost eaten alive by leeches and really didn't have any clue they were having a feast while I was laughing at the mosquitoes who could no longer get to me. Maybe they were working together to get me at all cost. At this point in my life, I'm starting to think that the mosquitoes all over the world sent a rep from each country and made a treaty that says, all mosquitoes of the world have free access to Silvia Sala Sanchez at all times. No joke, as soon as the sun starts to go down, the mosquitoes start moving towards me like zombies that come out at night. The welts they leave are unbearably itchy and huge. And they're getting braver these days. Yesterday as I was sitting with my dog in the morning having my coffee, one brave mosquito decided it would attack me. He got me good, mendigo. I'm scratching as I do this voiceover. I hope you enjoyed this story time with Silvia, that's me, titled Las Liches Casi Me Tragan. Anyone else ever been attacked by leeches? Side note, I also get attacked by fleas. I have a crazy story about that too. Híjole, para la otra, okay? Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you, I mean, you'll hear me in the next one. Peace.